guys, it's Simmer Deb. Welcome to part five of Let's Play The Sims 3 Off the Grid. In the last episode, Nikki was invited to a party at Blake's house. And she hoped that she would meet Blake's wife so that she could, you know, feel like Blake's wife was a real person. <laughs> and not just an image in her mind, so that hopefully she could forget about Blake because Blake has really been on her mind and she's really having a hard time forgetting about him, even though he is married. Now, Nikki, um, she is so torn. She really would like to get to know Blake better but she just cannot see herself dating a married man or flirting with a married man. Who is this? This is Daryl Vaughn, who we already know, and he is married. And is that his wife? That's Morgan Barron. Look at her red hair. She's got some red, red hair, doesn't she? Trying to see what she looks like. And my game is lagging, of course. And Nikki can't get to the autumn salad. She's pretty. It's Morgan Barron. And Blake seems to like her quite a bit. Oh, they're chatting it up quite a bit. Move people so Nikki can get something to eat. A lot of people in this. Uh, can I move this? Nope. You know what? Here's what we're going to do. I'm going to pause the game. I'm going to go into build by mode. And I can't do that. So stupid. Forgot to shift. Um, I'm going to... Buy on this lot. And I'm going to pick this food up and move it to the kitchen table. <laughs> And then that way, Nikki can grab a plate. Let's just put it right there. Go back into live mode. Don't you just love the NRAS mods? With the NRAS mods, you can pretty much do anything you want to. There are a lot of people crammed in that little kitchen. And Blake is still chatting up Morgan Barron. We need to meet her after we eat. And just find out what she's all about. Find out if she's married. She's thinking about Blake. What are you wearing, Morgan? She's wearing shorts. And no shoes. Okay. I thought this was supposed to be a formal party. She's going to come and eat, too. And poor Blake is starving to death over there, and he's just still talking away. Talking to Daryl Vaughn. And she's pretty, too. Another thing I absolutely love about the NRAS mods, story progression, when it populates a town, um... It uses the Sims in your Sim bin as the parents for the Sims that it makes to populate the town. So if you download a lot of good-looking Sims, a lot of good-looking families um, to your Sim bin, then you get pretty good Sims populated in your town as far as the way they look. Now, occasionally you'll get some with a huge nose or just chin way out of proportion, but for the most part, um, when it populates the town using the Sims in my bin, I usually get some pretty attractive Sims. I haven't seen anybody, you know, really ugly in this game yet. <laughs> He's out playing in the ocean. Yeah, it'd be nice to live at the beach, huh? <laughs> Nikki, who are you booing at? What are you doing? Don't heckle her. 
Let's give her a friendly introduction. I don't like how close Blake is just what? sitting to her. He might already have something going on the side. You never know. He might already be having an affair. It's hard to know these things. That's another thing that NRAS mods do. Uh, is they can, uh, the Woohooer mod can sometimes have the Sims cheat on each other. It doesn't look like she's going to get up and talk to us. But we really want to know if she's married because she seems to really like Blake and he seems to really like her. And who knows where Blake's wife is. Yet to see her. Okay, people, come on. Get up. And come over here and talk to me. Leave Blake alone and come and talk to me. And if you want... Here she goes. Oh, now she's got to put her plate up. And here we go. We want to know if she's married. Morgan Barron, are you single? Watch her say she's single. There's no single men, but she's probably single. She's in a relationship with Finn. Good deal. What time is it? It's 9.41. Um... Nikki's going to come over here and she's going to tell Blake a funny story. Go Flugel! I like tanks! She can't get to him. Well, just walk right around here. You can talk to him. You can tell him a funny story. What is your problem? Walk right around the television. Do you not? Now tell him a funny story. Don't, you don't need, oh, do we not know him? We know Daryl Vaughn. What is your problem, Nikki? You can talk to him. He's standing right here. Tell him a freaking funny story before I slap you. Oh, she's got to greet Daryl Vaughn. We'll go ahead and greet Daryl Vaughn. Even though we already know Daryl Vaughn. Ooh, baby, look at Daryl Vaughn's six-pack. We know Daryl Vaughn. We know that Daryl Vaughn is also married. Okay, fine. Are you eating again? She's eating again. Huh. Okay, well, Nikki's getting tired, and she can't really talk to Blake for some reason. Um, so, Nikki's going to go on home. Because it's getting late. And she still did not get to meet Blake's wife. So, she's wondering, you know... Why wasn't Blake's wife at the party? Um, where was she? Are they having problems? You know, it's just kind of unusual for a man to have a party. Maybe his wife was at work. Who knows? Or they could be having problems. Okay, well, I'm going to let Nikki sleep, and I will be right back as soon as she wakes up. Okay, guys, Nikki is awake, and she had a bad night's sleep from sleeping on a cheap bed. So she is looking forward to the day when she can afford to purchase a nice bed. And... She's going to go ahead and recycle those real quick. And I think I'm going to have her take a shower really quick. It is really early in the morning. 
So let's see what's going on in our neighborhood. Does anybody live here? Somebody lives here. Let's visit the Prescott household and see what's going on with them. Take a shower, Nikki. The town council has updated their immigration survey. That has to do with story progression and populating the town. And they're probably not home now that she's over here because it took her so long to take a shower. Anyone home? And the game is lagging. Of course it is. Uh, there's somebody right there. Wait outside. What's that person doing? What's he doing? Is he on the pot? <laughs> He's going. To, she's going to be invited inside. And who is this person? This person's got some blonde hair, don't they? That's neon blonde. Nancy. Okay. No romantic connection at all whatsoever. <laughs> None of the little hearts or stuff. His hair is quite blonde. He seems to, <laughs> he seems to be fairly decent looking. Fairly nice looking. What's it? Colton Prescott. He's nice looking. He's good looking. I'm sure he's married. Let's ask if he's single. And of course, Nikki learned that Colton has a career in scientific research. Colton is ambitious. I'm sure Colton's married also, isn't he? And Nikki found Colton is single. All right, let's get a better look at Colton. He looks pretty, pretty good. He looks pretty hot. His eyebrows don't match his facial hair or his head hair, but other than that, yeah, his hair, could, he could stand a little bit of a makeover in the hair department, hair color department eyebrow color department. But other than that, he looks pretty hot. Let's get to know him a little bit better. Let's ask his age and let's find out what his sign is. And let's, um, let's consider attractiveness just to see if we find him attractive at all. He is one day older than Nikki. One day older. He is single. And she's probably not the least bit attracted to him since he is single. We'll find out. Okay. Did we find out anything right then? He is Leo. Colton Prescott is Leo. Those signs are compatible. Okay. And if the game will quit lagging, we'll find out if she's attracted to him at all. Quit lagging, game. Quit lagging. And did we find him attractive at all? Who knows? Yeah, uh -huh. we know your sign. We know you're a Leo. But do we think you're hot? Do you think we're hot? Or not. She's probably not gonna she's probably not gonna like him because he's single, so you know. Nikki finds that Colton Prescott is quite pleasing to the eye, ranks seven out of ten. Okay. And where'd he go? Is he leaving? I guess he's going to work. Yep. Okay, Colton has gone.
so. And Nikki, you don't stay there and watch this television. Go back home. He's gone. It, normally when a sim leaves, they'll tell you, you it's time for you to leave too. But he didn't this time. Don't know why. Well, you know, it does stand to reason that the only single guy that we met, have met so far we're not even attracted to. And we still have no mail. Oh my, so let us see what we can do today. Nikki wants to improve, she wants to earn some tips for painting street art murals, and she wants to gain a new rebel influence. So let's go down here to the, whatever this is, place is called, the festival grounds, and paint us some murals. Let's um, see if we can do a ground mural here. Ground mural, medium mural. And we will put it right there. And I think she's supposed to put out a tip jar this time when she does murals. Of course, I don't see anyone here, but by the time she gets here, some other people will probably show up. It's early in the day. It's just 8.30. And she wants to get her face painted. I don't think that's a good idea. <laughs> she wants to host an acrobat. We're not going to be doing that. She wants to learn the writing skill, which we probably can do, but we'll have to get a computer or go to the library. She wants to buy food from a concession stand because she is hungry. Well, we might do that, but I don't want to, um, I don't want to click off any of those things because that's only 150 points. The writing skill is, how many points? 500. That is 750. This is only 150, but uh, she will have to go to the library to learn the writing skill. But I think we'll do that. I think we'll learn the writing skill. And that looks exactly like the same mural that she painted before. You would think that they would have them to another mural. A different mural but no and here's her little scary bear that she won let's go ahead and sell mr. scary bear for forty dollars sell it sell it stop lagging <laughs> okay And we'll grab something to eat and then we'll go over to the library and use their computer. And while we're there, maybe we will put up an online dating profile. Who's that? Who's that? This is Ray Aldrich. Do we know him? We evidently do not know him. Let's do a friendly introduction to Ray Aldrich. It seems like we met somebody with the same last name Aldrich before. Um, being a rebel means speaking your mind. And Nikki Maxwell is getting good at it. The podium can be used to say what's wrong with the world and hunger strikes will spread awareness of hunger. Nixie Maxwell is a better cheater now and will be less likely to be caught while cheating at university. Well, that's nice. But she is a free thinker within the rebel social group. I have to go now. I think it's time you left. Oh, now we're getting that. Okay. Alright, let's find out about him. If the game will stop lagging. Okay, Ray Aldrich. Let's find out. You know what? We might as well cut to the chase and ask if he's single right off the bat. And haven't even looked at him yet. We evidently didn't find him attractive because I didn't see the little I think you're hot thing pop up. So she must not be attracted to him anyway. So, which probably means that he is single since she's not attracted to him. This 
flag is getting ridiculous, guys. I don't understand it. So, are you single or not? Nikki learned that Ray is single. Of course he is, because she's not attracted to him. Well, let's just consider attractiveness and just see how she feels about him. He's not that bad looking. And he is what? Oh, I don't care what anyone else says. I think you're hot. Hi. Huh. And, but what does Nikki think? Nikki considers Ray Aldrich gorgeous. He's an 8 out of 10. Okay. He's not that bad, actually. Um, eh, I, I don't know. He might could use a little bit of a makeover. Let's um, find out what he does. Let's ask about his career. And let's ask about his age. He looks older than us. He looks like he's an adult instead of a young adult. I don't know. And let's ask his sign. Ray is employed in the culinary arts. And he is a workaholic. Okay. And... He is two days older than Nikki. And he is cancer. And it does not say that those signs are compatible. So that probably means they're not really all that compatible. Um, but let's get to know him a little bit. We'll talk about the heat. We will ask about his alma mater. We will compliment music. Okay. Didn't know he had played music, but evidently he's musical. We will... Let's do something funny. Let's make a silly face. And let's joke about cooking. And let's um, tell him a funny story. Nikki learned that Ray shares her alma mater. They both went to Gooder Public School. Well, evidently, she's pretending to go to Gooder Public School because she went to school in Bridgeport. And if he knew her then, he would know that she's not Nikki Maxwell. So... And Nikki is hungry, so let's go over and get something to eat. Where is that um, food thingy? There's one. Doo -doo 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 -doo. Let's go over here and order some food. Buy some food. You know, it figures that she's met two single guys in this town. Colton Prescott and... Ray Aldrich, and she wasn't really attracted to either one of them. So, but of course, I think she was like a 10 out, did I even consider Blake's attractiveness? We'll do that the next time we see him and see what number he gets. She wants to start a protest. I don't think we're gonna, she wants to start a hunger strike. Uh, we might do something like that. Who knows? And let's have... Let's have a hamburger. She wants to join the archi architectural designer career, which we cannot do. Start a hunger strike. Join the music career, which we cannot do. Um, what would we hunger strike for? I don't know. But after we eat, we're going to go over to the library and see about using their computer. Is that the library? That's the Vault of Antiquity. There's the library. We're gonna visit the library and use their computer and just see possibly about putting up a dating profile on the computer. Um, We'll just go right over here. Oh, she's already... She was going to read Mummy in Love. I don't... 
excuse me, I don't think so. We are going to, um, <laughs> do some online dating. Who's this? This is, what do you mean edit profile, remove profile? We haven't even put up a profile. How can we edit something we haven't even put up? Well, we will edit profile, I guess, is what that means. Um, Ashley Hillcote. I think we've met Ashley Hillcote's husband. Okay, Nikki, she's artistic. Let's just be... Um, let's not tell about the commitment issues. Let's say that we are adventurous instead. <laughs> and our favorites are tri-tip steak, rock, and the color violet. And our body type is slim. So we will save that profile. And let's browse other profiles. Online dating. Browse. Oh, what did I do? Nope, 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 nope. I hope that didn't go through. Online dating. Browse profiles. Okay. And who's number one on there? Blake is. Uh, if the game would load. Let's try this again. Online dating. Browse profiles. Okay, and it looks like the, um, well, you got Blake, and you got somebody named Tristan. And who knows what Tristan looks like. But he's, am oh, there's Tristan. He is ambitious. He's a born salesman, he's handy, he's a hopeless romantic, and he is a mooch. We don't like mooches. Okay, now it's loaded. Finn. Mitch, we know Mitch. Kyle, I think we know, we've met Kyle. Ray, we've met. Adam. Have we met Adam? He looks familiar. Ben, we've met Ben. Robert. Let's see what Robert is. He's a computer whiz. He's a couch potato. He's friendly. He's neat. And he's socially awkward. Well, Ben, you're cute, but we don't like your personality. Or Robert, rather. Colton, we know. Sydney, we've met. Alan. Odell. And David. Huh. Well, let's find out about Adam. He is ambitious, he is artistic, he's fr athletic, friendly, and he loves the outdoors. And he is a cancer. Hmm. And he's probably, let's go ahead and send him a message, just for fun. And we will browse some more profiles. See, just see if we can pick one other person. Oh. <gasps> What's taking so long? Must. See if we can pick one other person that we might want to send a message to. Oh, uh -huh. <laughs> okay, let's see. Let's find out about... I think Finn is married because it seems like somebody was in a relationship with Finn. And how many Finns could there be in here? Uh, I guess we could find out about Alan. Alan's a Gemini. He's ambitious, artistic, frugal, good sense of humor, and a natural cook. Um, he doesn't look bad. Let's send him a message. And hold on for just a second, guys, because my dog 
needs to go potty and I'm the only one here, so I've got to take care of it. I'll be right back. Okay, guys, I just realized that it's time to wrap this up. I got so involved, I lost track of the time. So I am going to have to say goodbye. But thank you so very much for watching. And please let me know what you think, guys. Please like, comment, and subscribe. See you next time.